Hey guys, Carla Huepa here. Welcome to episode five of Cup Day. We're here in Belfast. We've just had our semi-final versus USA and we're headed to the final against England. We had a really physical encounter versus USA. They really brought it to us in that first half, but we managed to put some pieces together and come away with the win in the second half. Yeah, the girls are really excited that we're headed to a final after the 2014 World Cup. And we've got some newbies in there who have never been to a final, so uh, you can say the excitement levels are pretty high in the camp um, this week, but we're really excited and we can't wait to get out there. This will be my second Rugby World Cup final. My last one was in 2010 versus England at the Twickenham Stoop. It was a really uh, surreal feeling to come away with uh, the World Cup back then. Um, all I can remember is the crowd singing Swing Low and I couldn't even hear my teammate right next to me. But yeah, when, we, uh, when that final whistle blew, we, you could tell the excitement and happiness that we all felt. Um, yeah, when I got the phone call, I was pretty excited and um, pretty emotional to finally get that call up. But it's been a long journey to get here and I'm so excited to be back um, to represent my family, my hometown. Um, our country on the world stage is, there's no better feeling than this. It's been awesome to get up here to Belfast, it's an incredible city, so many beautiful sights to get around and have a look at. Um, there's a few nervous girls in camp but we're ready to take on um, this final and we can't wait to get out there. For all of you back home, make sure you tune in to Sky Sport at 6.45am on Sunday to see us take on England. Before I go, a quick shout out to all my friends and family back home in Te Awamudu and Kihikihi. I love you and thanks for continuing to support me on my journey.